What I love about Italy is diversity. Diversity of grape varieties, diversity of styles, diversity of wine regions. This country is amazing. There's so much choice, so many things available that there's impossible we cannot find for every taste. Now we are tasting wine from Piemont. And Piemont for me is quintessential Italy. Why? Because we have so many grape varieties. Just thinking the red grape varieties, we are talking about Dolcetto, Barbera, Nebbiolo. For white grape varieties, we have Cortese, we have Roeo Arnais. Actually, Roeo is the, is the name of the region, but Arnais is the name of the grape. But there is one grape in particular that I absolutely love in Piemonte, it's the Moscato grape. So, for those people who don't know Moscato, Moscato is very aromatic, very, very floral. And it is also quite famous to make sweet wines, actually. And in Italy, one more uh, aspect of diversity is they make a sweet wine, but a sparkling sweet wine. And it is lovely, lovely as an aperitif, and lovely also for, for, for dessert, actually. So, here in, in uh, Piemont, they have designed a technique to make the sweet wine. Basically, they will start the fermentation of this wine normally, in a tank. And when the wine is at about 5% alcoholic uh, uh, level, they will suddenly seal the tank. They will close the tank and it will continue the fermentation until the wine is at about 7.5-8% alcohol. So what it will do? First of all, it will trap the carbonic uh, uh, dioxide in the wine. So this is why here we have a sparkling wine. But when we stop the fermentation at such a low level of alcohol, we will have quite a bit of residual sugar. And this sugar here will complement the wine very well because it's so aromatic and so fruity. With a little bit of sugar, it makes this wine very lovely and light to, to, to drink. So here we are with the producer. And uh, please introduce yourself, your name, and also your winery. Okay. Thank you. I'm Anna Ciccarone. I'm here for the producer Antica Cantina Canelli, which is one of the most ancient producers of Moscato in Italy uh, since 1933. So a really huge experience in wine production. production. Uh, yes, as they has said before, it's one of our most known uh, brands all over the world. It's made from Moscato grapes. Really fresh with this sweet, really nice to as a primitive, as with the seafood, with friend just to just to speak, just to have a, a little conversation with friends. So a very flexible and easy uh, wine, uh, wine to be drunk. In fact, another thing that I like about Italy very much is la dolce vita. And yeah. this is a perfect wine for this, because when you finish the work, you go for aperitivo with your friends, so you talk and the boys look at the girls and the girls look at the boys, and we, we eat something a little bit light and salty, it's lovely, and this wine is perfect for that. It makes us in a very good mood, and it's not too alcoholic, so that we can enjoy it actually for the whole evening, and then go for dinner, if we were lucky to... <laughs> <laughs> meet a, a friend for that, yes. Yes, in Italy we said if uh, we don't have a sparkling wine, then there is no party. So uh, a sparkling wine is really a sparkling wine is really necessary for a good party and for a good evening night. <laughs> a friend of mine actually distributes uh, this type of wine in China, and he tells me that actually in China this is the wine that is always out of stock. Moscato d'Asti and also Asti, this wine, is always very popular here in Asia. Yeah, yeah with Moscato grapes we make uh, three types of Moscato. The classical Moscato, which is really always out of stock. Now here that we have it Moscato because we have all sorts, so uh, we have no more Moscato here. But Asti is made always for Moscato grapes. Uh, it's always very sweet, but lighter, so uh, useful for our parties as we said before. And we have another type of Moscato, which is uh, a success for our uh, winery because it's a, uh, a very challenge. A, a Moscato made without the use of sulfides. So in Moscato, really, we have innovation, we have tradition, we have evolution. So it's the first grapes which is made in Piemonte, but it's all, all, uh, also the center of our evolution and technology for the future.
to a natural wine made Moscato style. But Moscato is, is such a lovely uh, uh, wine because it's aromatic, so it is lovely, it makes me want to drink it actually, drink it all in fact. <laughs> and then on a palate it's so fresh, it's so juicy and it's so delicious that actually I really want to drink it all as soon as possible. <laughs> so thank you very much for this presentation. Thank you, thank you for making the good wine. Good luck in Hong Kong and in China. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers and a good luck to everybody. Enjoy a good Moscato. It's a good choice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.